what's up guys and welcome back again into another video about another custom room for poco x4 pro the alpha droid 2.1 so last time i made a video about this room this was the most customizable aosp room for android 13 in my testing with a lot of unique features and even with that much features its stability was unbeatable so yep we have the 2.1 update based on Android 14 and today I'll be telling about everything starting from its customizations to its performance. So make sure to watch the video till the end and if you are new to the channel make a sub right now for the latest videos and let me tell you that about 9% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel. So make a sub right now. Anyways let's get the video started. So firstly starting with its settings UI so you get this kind of settings UI for this room and if you look upon the about phone section it kind of reminds me of me UI but yep I liked it. Now when you click on this option another tab opens and as you can clearly see that this room is based on Android 14 and for the security patch it comes on the latest security patch of 5th June 2024 and if you have already seen I'm the official maintainer of this room so yep other than Everest OS I also maintain this room officially and if you are worried about the updates so yep I push OT updates regularly so don't worry about that. Now for the kernel, so this room comes on the Positron kernel by default and yes it supports kernel SU without any problem. Now if I talk about the home screen customization, so yup this room comes with the alpha launcher with a lot of features like firstly you get features regarding the app icons like you can customize the icon and font size from here and you can also set the max lines for the app label and yes you can also set different app icons like if I select this pixel material U icon pack and check my home screen the app icon gets changed. Now you also get a lot of home screen features for glance, search bar and much more like currently I have disabled the home screen search bar for now. Apart from this you can also customize the app drawer from here and moving back you also get a lot of features for your recent menu but this feature I found is really interesting like if I shake my phone in the recent menu oh all the apps get cleared. Now if I talk about the wallpapers and style features so firstly you get a lot of color options for your system UI and yes you can customize the app grid size and app icon shape from here. Now you also get variety of android 14 clock styles in here so yeah, that's all for the launcher features. Now if I talk about the pre-installed app so firstly this is a G apps build so yes you get the play store pre-installed with proper device certification for play integrity so don't worry about google wallet payments. Apart from this you also get the google dialer but I also provide vanilla builds with AOSP dialer. Now you get the Leica camera instead of the MIUI camera for better photos and videos and it records videos up to 1080p 60fps with a lot of features so yup if you like better photos then definitely you will love this cam. Now you also get Dolby Atmos for better sound quality so yup that's all for the pre-install apps. And now let's talk about the customizations of this room. Now if I talk about the customizations so this room comes with a lot of features. So firstly when you will move into this tab called the alpha bit you get a lot of features for various parts of your system like firstly when you open this user interface tab you get a lot of customizations like you can customize the monet of your system like controlling the luminous and chroma factor and from here you can also customize your UI style like currently I have set it on default and now if I select this shishu night style the background becomes some kind of transparent and this displays our system wallpaper and I think this looks really amazing if you use your phone on dark mode. But for the best view I use the shishu illusion style which also looks great to be honest. And yup you can also customize your settings UI from this tab like currently I have selected the NAT style and now if I select this dot style and restart my settings the settings UI gets changed. Anyways you also get various navbar style, variety of font style, icon packs, signal packs for your data, Wi-Fi icon packs and yes you can customize the icon shape from here too. Now talking about the status bar features so firstly you can customize the status bar clock from here like you can set the background chip for your clock and you also get a lot of features like setting your logo on your status bar, customizing your status bar battery icon, battery bar and last but not the least the status bar padding. 
Now moving back, you can also customize your QS panel like firstly you can set up header images for your QS panel like currently I am using a custom image from my gallery but apart from this you also get a lot of QS header images pre-included. Apart from this you can also customize the background opacity of your QS panel and you also get a lot of features like compact QS media player. You can even change the brightness bar style like currently I'm using this brightness bar but if I select this fluid outline style and check my QS panel, the brightness bar of my QS panel gets changed. Other than that you get variety of QS panel like if I select this leafy outline style and check my QS panel, it gets changed. And yes, you can also customize the number of rows and columns and configure the animation of your QS panel from these options. Now talking about the lock screen features, so you get a lot of features regarding the lock screen like firstly the clock styles for lock screen like if I select this clock from here and check my lock screen, it gets supplied. Apart from this, you also get variety of features regarding the ambient display like some sensor based wake up features and also the edge lightning for your notifications. Talking about the notification features, so you get the island notification which pops up the notification like the dynamic island you get in the iOS. And now for the gesture and navigation, so one thing which I really liked is this shake gesture action like for example if I shake my phone, it activates the assistant because I have set it to open the assistant if I shake my phone. And yes you can also configure it for various actions like if I select toggle flashlight and shake my phone, it turns on the flashlight and to disable it, shake your phone again. So it's actually interesting and a cool feature and I really like it. Now for the sound features, so firstly you get this music pulse which on enabling appears like this while playing music for your ambient display and lock screen. Apart from this, you also get some call and vibration features. Now last but not the least, talking about the miscellaneous features, so you get some smart pixel feature for pixel burn protection, game space for your games and a lot of spoofing features like unlocking higher case in games, unlimited photos and videos for google photos, netflix spoof and some other important features. So yep, that's all for the customizations. Now talking about the performance of this ROM, so firstly the N22 score I got was about 413k and for the CPU throttle test, so on the 30 threads the CPU throttle to 90% of its max performance along with a max dip score of 178k which is really great. Talking about the gaming performance, so you get 90fps unlocked in BGMI but for better consistency, I played games on 60fps and for the results, so for the TDM matches, the FPS was stuck between 57 to 60 and even for the classic matches, the performance was absolutely amazing with an average FPS of 55 to 60fps even on long term. So yep, that's for the gaming performance. Talking about the miscellaneous features, so yes, radio works fine without any problem and so does the screencast. Now for the battery backup, so I got an average battery backup of about 7 hours on heavy usage and for normal usage you can expect 8 plus hours. So yes, that's all for the room and if I talk about the flashing instructions, so you can flash this room using both AOSP and Orange Fox recovery and I have made flashing tutorial regarding both of them, link in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to like it, share it with your friends and most importantly make a sub right now for the latest updates. So goodbye and take care.